Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to convert a JSON file to Excel file. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that first we will see like how we can convert a simple JSON file to Excel file and then we will also see like how we can convert a nested JSON file to Excel file. So nowadays a lot of companies are receiving the data in the JSON file and sometimes it can be tricky to import the JSON file to the SQL server using SSIS or some other method because uh, there are no inbuilt components in SSIS to import the JSON file and especially if there is a nested JSON file then it can be nightmare to import those kind of files. So if you only need to import the JSON file just couple of time like either one time or two time then I would recommend to convert the JSON file into the Excel file and then from the Excel file you can import it to the SQL server. So without wasting further time let's jump to the demo. In my D files location I got two JSON file emp.json and the emp underscore nested.json ok. So if I show you the data from the emp.json so it contains the JSON data. So we have five records like id1 then first name last name email batch number employee number and the create date. So these are the five records ok so this is a simple JSON file. Now if I show you the another JSON file so this one is the nested JSON file ok. Here we got one record like id first name last name and then for the contact info it's kind of array ok. And for employee details as well this is an array and for addresses as well this is an array. So this is a nested JSON file. So for example if I show you the data here. Uh, in an online JSON viewer. So I'm just pasting the JSON file here, the simple JSON file. And if I click on the viewer, so you can see that there are five records. And now if I look at the first record, so you can see that ID, first name, all the columns, they are in a single row. So this is not a nested file. This is a simple JSON file, which can be easily imported. And now if you copy the data from the nested JSON file, so let's try to, uh, see the data like how the data will look like for the nested JSON. Now if I expand the first record so now you can see that for ID first name last name they are coming inside one row however now for the contact info this is a nested JSON and this is an array and now inside the contact info further the phone numbers are inside an array ok and now inside the phone numbers there are two type of phone number either they can be home or it can be work. So this is kind of nested JSON file like for a single record there are so many different properties ok. So importing this kind of file using SSI or C sharp can be a lot of tricky. So that's why we will see like how we can import or how we can convert this JSON file into the Excel file. And once the data has been imported to Excel so either you can just save the Excel as it is or you can save the Excel file as a CSV file as well ok. You can do both of them. So we will see how we can convert the JSON into Excel. So I will open the Excel application from here. Uh, let me maximize this one and I can click on the blank document. So my Excel application has been opened up. Now first I will convert the simple JSON file into the Excel file. So I will click on the data and then I will click on the get data from file from JSON. So I will select this option and now it's asking me to browse my JSON file. So my file is situated inside D files location. So I will select this one emp.json and I will click on the import button. Alright so at this particular location you need to right click on the list and then click to table. And now here you need to click on OK. So now you can see this particular icon here. There are two arrows, one left arrow and one right arrow. So left click on this one and then you will see this option. So uncheck this option, use original column names as prefix. So uncheck this one. So this is displaying all the available columns inside this particular JSON file. So uncheck this one and then click on OK. So as soon as you will click on OK, you can see that the JSON file has been converted into the row and the column format. So there are five records and these are the columns like ID, first name, last name, email, batch number, employee number and created. So you can see 
all the columns here and you can see an icon of the drop down so it means that this is converted successfully okay so this is looking absolutely fine i can click on cancel this is showing you all the different values so you can click cancel that's okay now we want to save this particular file so what you need to do you need to click here close and load so i can click on this one so what this will do this will create a new excel sheet and will import the data into that particular excel sheet so the excel sheet is created with the same name as the file name source file name and the data has been saved here so now the data is there and you can simply uh, save this particular file so you can click on file and then save uh, you can browse the location like where you want to save the file so suppose i want to save the file at the same location d files and i can call the excel file as emp okay so i can save this one and the file should be saved so i can now close the excel file and if i go to the d files location so i can see a excel file here emp.xlsx so if i open the excel file then you can see the data so these five records they are converted from the json file so this was the method like how you can convert a simple json file into the excel file now let's see how we can convert a nested json file into the excel file because there is a uh, tricky part there there is a you know trick there so we'll see that so just click on the data then get data from file from json and now let's go to the d files location and select the emp underscore nested json and click on the import button so now you can see this icon there are five records in this particular excel file as well right click on it and then click on two table click ok so now as soon as you see this particular icon the left arrow and the right arrow so click on this one and then uncheck this option use original column name as prefix uncheck this option and click on ok so this will convert the data from the json file into the tabular format now you can see the drop down icon here so where you see the drop down it means that this is good but whenever you see the left arrow and the right arrow so it means that this needs to be further converted and as well as you can see the record here so record means that there are some data inside this particular record so if you see here there are five records for the first record beverly heifer there is only one record but because there is an array for the contact info so we will click on this particular icon we will left click this one and then click on ok so this has created the email column and then the phone numbers column so now you can see that for the email uh, there is a drop down so this is good but for the phone numbers it's showing the left arrow and the right arrow so click on this one and this is also showing as list so whenever you see the list option here in the data and or the record option or you see the left arrow and the right arrow icon so you need to click on that one so let me click on this one so now this is showing us a new option expand to new rows so what it means is that if you click on expand to new row so what it will do it will actually uh, you know create a new row for this particular record like for beverly heifer as of now there is only one record but if you click here and if you select the first option new row so it will create the same number of row whatever number of rows are in the array so for example for the phone number there are two type of phone number there was a home phone number and the work phone number so it will split the data into two records one record have the home phone number and another record will have the work phone number so let me click on this one expand to new rows and now you can see that for the first record beverly heifer now there are two records okay the record number one and the record number two the id is same because it is converted into two rows so now you need to click on the phone numbers again and now you can see that there is a type and there is a number so you need to click on ok so now you can see that for the beverly heifer there are two records uh, there is one home phone number and another one is the work phone number so maybe you can import the data as it is into sql server and if you want to for example uh, add the new column like one home phone number column and another work phone number column so that's also fine but at least you can import this data into the sql server now 
so th the type is looking good the number is looking good now for the employment details you again need to click on this one and this is showing the nested column so I can click on ok and it will add further columns like employee number batch number position department joining date so all the rest of the columns are looking good and now the last one is the address column so for the address column you can see a record here and as well as you can see this particular icon so you can click on this one left click so you can see that it will add these new columns like street city state and zip code so I can click on this one so now you can see that the new columns like street city state and zip code they have been added to the excel so this is the tabular result set of the json file okay and because of the type of the phone numbers like home or work the data has been converted into multiple rows okay so the data is looking good so now you can click on close and load so this will create a new excel sheet and will import the data so you can see that the data has been imported successfully into the excel file and now you can save this particular excel file so i can click on the save button browse the location so i want to save the file into the same location d files okay and i can call the excel file name as emp underscore nested so this will save the file and you can go to this location and you can see a new excel file created here as well okay now suppose if you want to save this particular data as the csv file so for that particular thing you can click on file and then save as and at this particular location instead of saving it as a excel workbook you can actually uh, select the csv comma delimited okay and then click on save button so this will actually save the file into the csv format so now if i go back to the d files location so you can see a new file here emp underscore nested dot csv so let me open this particular file in the notepad plus plus so you can see that this is converted correctly into the csv file as well so the csv file will work good this will work good as long as you don't have the comma in the actual data but for example if you have the comma in the actual data then you know the importing the csv file might have the issues because this will cause the delimiter issues like you cannot have the comma inside the data itself because the comma is also the delimiter here okay so that's why uh, i will prefer to save the file in the excel format so guys this was how like you can convert a json file into the excel format thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time upload new video thank you so much